Good morning, my lovely Lego Alex. Welcome back to the Lego room. To you, this probably will feel like a uh, really quick update, but to me, it's been a few weeks since we worked on this room. Um, it's currently the 7th of May, but that's actually been a few minor things that we've done in this room that I didn't vlog because they were kind of like really small things. So as you can tell, the doors have architraves, architraves, never say that word right for some reason. Obviously you can see we, we use screws because that's just what we have. But what we've also done and what we'll continue today is fit doors. There will be doors either side with the same handle. And we're also fitting today, hopefully is a door for there. So that's not gonna have a handle, that's just gonna be a push door. So there is no handle to kind of interfere with the look of the cabinets above it. I don't know if I showed you, but we have all the Trofast units in as well. So obviously that's gonna be the cabinet, but all the runners are in. It's like a whole wall of just the Trofast stuff, which I think looks amazing. It feels really good to be here again and, and work on it because it's, <laughs> I just want it done. I just want to be in this room, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so this is what it looks like right now before we start. And the other side, this is what it looks like right now as well. There we go. Now you can see the progress in a minute. All of the holes in the architrave are filled in now and we're starting draw. So here are all the draw runners. So we're just putting the runners in for drawers. You can see there's going to be two lovely little drawers there and they're going to be really helpful. We drilled a template for all the runner holes. So you can see there. So here you can see this is the, the template and we just held it against every single unit along here just because there's obviously 24 hinges to install. I just wanted to make sure that we made it as easy as possible for ourselves. All the runners are in. Draw fronts in the making, or drawers, boxes really. Oh my goodness. So that's the button that goes at the top of the cabinet there so the cabinet door can close. First drawer is in. There we go. As you can see, it's a little bit stiff. So there's a few things that I want to adjust. My new office chair has arrived. Okay, I ended up just buying it because uh, I couldn't find anything on Facebook Marketplace that was like a children's desk chair on good caster wheels. This was really massively reduced as 40% off. I don't know if it's going to be good, but let's see what's inside the box. What's in the box? This is a children's desk chair, but this, this is quite big. This, is, this feels more than... This feels like a, just a normal desk chair. Right? Pretty big. Spatter. nuts and bolts that's it let's build this thing oh hi there i'm just on my children's desk chair which is actually massive all the way down means my legs are in like 90 degrees which is like the the best the way that you should sit and i'm quite tall and this is like all the way up my top toes are touching the floor so yeah it's not really a kid's desk chair interesting online shopping experiences so i've cut the door it's the right size now and i also put the backing plinth or like the button over there i've attached this door then i finally cut a plinth for the length of this so it's all finished and it's flush with the floor as much as i could do it i just need to put some cover caps and all the screw holes and then here i have got these two doors prepped and ready to go on with the handles and everything there's already hinge holes on the other side of them ready the only thing we're waiting for is I need some 170 hinges so I can hinge them on that side and I can open them all the way that way because that will help getting bigger things in and kind of making the most of the space. These look awful, I know, but these are the worktops and they're half prepped. They're the two worktops for this side and that side, um, but we can only put them on once the backboard's in. We're going to now collect the backboard, finally. So that should be good. Actually, Ollie did a bit of a surprise order and he also ordered the panels that we need to start working on the movable island in this room, which, not gonna lie, I'm a bit excited. But that means that next weekend, so the 13th and 14th of May, it's going to be backboard week because that's the main thing currently in the way of every progress. Fingers crossed I'm in here by the end of May. That would be, that is kind of the aim for now fingers crossed because that would be that would be amazing but we're, we're making progress we're making progress so let's go and get a backboard also just wanted to show you my office chair 
so nice. So I actually have a chair now. Works really well, like it moves. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, it moves really well. I'm very happy with it. So that should make working here perfect. I can't believe, by the way, the background that I'm currently looking at. Oh my God, this looks so good. Ah! Right, let's keep working. Fun over. <laughs> Ready for another build weekend. Oh yeah. It's a brand new day in the Lego room. Hi. Um, big boy hinges have been attached. Oh wow, so massive. Basically, that means that I can put those doors on in a minute. I just have to attach the hinge plates to the actual cabinet, which would help. Um, and then we're gonna try and faff around with this backboard behind me, which is massive. And gonna be a huge pain to put up, I'm sure. That's happening today. Ah! <laughs> I'll try and do my best to update, but it's gonna probably be a lot of faffing, so filming may not be at the forefront of my mind, considering this is gonna be like a, we have to do it super carefully because we don't wanna break our backs type job. But before you put the backboard on, oh my goodness, it's finished. Oh yeah, I think it looks really good. So these ones open 170, so I can actually, really easy to get in. The reason we didn't hinge it on that side is because this way we don't have to put a batter in and it's just easy to kind of put big boxes in. Just installed my first ever push to open catch. So satisfying. Very nice, very nice. Just a few USB ports for the back panel. Warning, this is not cheap. Oh my goodness. Just measuring the city to make sure that all our shelf spacing is going to be correct. Let's find out. You know, just a few USB ports. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, this is where the shelf is going up to, but the shelf is sort of above it and it's quite thick, so that's why they seem to float a little bit more. Oh my god. Um, so part of the back panel is here, but we still need to do so much to it, so um, going to be interesting. Just working on the shelves for the city. As you can see, we're just joining them, putting them, then filling them, and then sanding them, and then staining them. <laughs> So whilst I was editing, Ollie's really worked on us loads of progress. Basically we've got the signs prepped, the back is prepped, the extra back panel is prepped as well. The reason this is not one piece but two is because uh, the big piece didn't fit in the van. <laughs> so we have to do it in two pieces. We're now currently prepping the shelves. They're actually pretty straight, the join went all right for both of them. One was a bit banana shaped but we could pull it back once we put it on the dowels. There is a whole lot of work still here one stuff is actually in place and built but because it then is in this room with much less good weather dependent we've been really sort of dependent on basically sunny dry days in order to do the work and obviously also just being off which <laughs> didn't really happen all the time once we're actually less dependent on that and we can just do some bits and pieces in here things may progress more steadily which will be good um because i could just basically put in hours of work after i come home from work which May not always be the nicest thing to do but that will at least mean steady progress because at the moment it's pretty like slow best fit on our return worktop which you had to make of tree timber which is a shame because uh not the best but it was the only thing we could get however apart from the fact that we still have to sand and fill and make all this nice round it fits really nicely oh my goodness also the most try hard thing yet all of the lights in the entire city are going to be controlled by this button <laughs> so progress for today that one and that one are cut to size and fit so all they need to do is some more sanding and also uh rounding off same in this side morning it is another sunny day or at least the morning and i have started sanding ollie's done a lot of sanding sanding is the the, the day really but also whilst i've been sanding the last shelf which 
you, I cannot tell you what a relief that is, the sanding thing. Whoa. Ollie has started prepping the back panel and all of the electrics behind it in order so we can finally fit the back panel, which is probably the most don't try this at home type thing <laughs> that we have in this room. So let me show you what's happening. So this is the panel that we've got. So as you can see, we're screwing all the transformers and things onto the wall. So they're not lying down, they're out of the way. We won't damage them. All of these USB ports are plugged into them and they're all working at the moment. This is the other side of that back panel. So you can see one is already there that this thing will go onto that side. So it goes to the wall. Obviously you won't sit all the way against the wall. Like now it will sit slightly away and there'll be infills either side to kind of make it the width in between is like a perfect base plate amount. To screw this in, Ollie's gonna have to be behind this back panel to do so. And then we're gonna have to move the whole thing once it's all screwed together forward off the cabinet, resting on obviously the sides here because that's the strongest point. So Ollie can come out of it and also we can put the shelves in which you can see are gonna go on those lines and they're gonna to have to be screwed from the back. So we have to have access to both sides and then we have to move the whole thing back to, to, the, to you know, the back of the wall. But yeah, this is already really, really heavy. Luckily, both of us are pretty strong, but yeah, don't try this at home. Ta-da, our professional measuring method. 10 and a half base plates coming at you. Oh my goodness, that is massive. <laughs> It is ready to be cut to length. This was meant to be its individual shelf, but it's now a big shelf, so hence why we had to resand it. The wood filler doing its job beautifully. Ah, oh, stunning. Can't wait. This is a city shelf. This is a city shelf. Just, you know, some average big boy screws. <laughs> so we'll be using these to go into these panels. So they're kind of our shelf brackets kind of thing, but they will also go through the back panel to hold them on there. Um, we've got the exact drill bit that we need, which is perfect. So that will make it slightly bit easier because we didn't use to own it. We just happen to have it now because of a gift. So that's awesome. Hopefully it will work. Ah, <laughs> I just wanted to work. All right. This gives you an idea because it's so far forward, I can't really feel much more. This is what the back looks like right now. It's like a spider's web. <laughs> um, these ones are just to support the uh, shelf as we're putting it on. So then I'm going to screw it in and you'll see us afterwards, hopefully. Number one is in. All right, let's move this back into place. Oh my goodness, it's massive. Holy moly this is i can't describe the size of you actually let me move something hold up this is the size oh my goodness now for the test ah <laughs> ah it works this is the city it's massive it's gonna be so big obviously there's so much work still doing all of like the you know work job sanding it making it smooth finishing all the staining, making it all look good. Um, we're doing infills that side, that side, and we're also gonna eventually do something at the top so it's all smooth with the ceiling. We just needed the space in order to maneuver it, but ah, it looks amazing. I've just come back from making lunch, as you can see, and Ollie's already done all the infills. Oh my goodness. Hold up. There we go, now you get the full effect. All flush with the wall. Perfect. I mean, we couldn't do it all the way wall to wall, as some of you will ask, because obviously we needed maneuverability to put screws in there, whatever, but it looks really nice. And, and it's 10 and a half base plates, perfectly. There we have it. Oh, snug. I think we have about like two mil, maybe, at most. Oh my goodness. So much space. This is literally blowing my mind. I can't quite, I don't think I can comprehend it. I think we'll leave it here for now. But it's looking much less exciting than those boxes on it. <laughs> However, pretty happy with it. Very comfortable to sit at as well. And now this side is a bit tidier as well. 
Alrighty, I think we'll leave the video there for now. Honestly, so much progress. It's amazing. I'm super, super thrilled with how it looks. I feel like you can finally see sort of like where we're headed and like there's light at the end of the tunnel, which I've needed for ages. There is still loads to do because let's be honest, the finishing touches always take forever. Apart from the movable island though, like all of the main building stuff has been done. I think we'll be tackling the moving island next. So tune in for the next update. And also obviously we're getting really close to actually moving the Lego. Oh my goodness. Right. Thank you very much for being here. I will see you in the next update, guys. Stay well. Goodbye. How do?